Hi, today I'm going to show you how to start the Black Shark in DCS. I'm doing this because there's a lot of videos out there, mine included, of people just flipping a bunch of switches and not explaining what to do, and there's a lot of people asking how to do it. This is in the manual, and there is a tutorial for it. Um, so, you could go that route, I suppose. Anyway, uh, not really sure where to begin here. I'm going to go over some controls and basic aircraft uh, instrumentation, things like that, that we should know before we start. All that book learning kind of stuff. So right now, looking down right here, uh, this right here is the cyclic in an aircraft, or in a helicopter rather. In an aircraft, um, like a fixed wing aircraft, this would be the elevator, and yeah, I'm not going to get into that. So uh, this right here is the collective. This changes uh, rotor pitch and is actually what will get you off the ground, kind of like the gas pedal if you want to call it that. And uh, this right here will direct you forward, back, left, and right. And then down below, I don't know if you can see or not, are the rudder pedals right there. So left rudder, right rudder. Um, starting from uh, right here going left, this is the backup artificial horizon or attitude indicator. The rate of climb indicator um, is zero right now, meaning that we're level or not climbing. So it goes up 500 feet per minute, 1,000 feet per minute, 2,000 feet per minute, and 3,000 feet per minute. And it goes negative 500 feet, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Um, you'll see that work when I take off. This right here is an accelerometer, and it shows uh, how many G's the aircraft, the airframe is sustained during flight. This is the artificial horizon or attitude indicator, the primary one, and is also part of the weapon system, the weapons guidance system. This is an airspeed indicator. This is a radar altimeter for uh, when you're close to the ground. This is the rotor RPM indicator, and this right here is a barometric altimeter. This right here is the HSI, Horizontal Situation Indicator, or um, compass. You've got a clock and rotor pitch indicator from 1 to 15. Over here, you've got exhaust gas temperature engine RPM and fuel quantity. So on with the start. I'm going to turn on the rotating beacon that lets ground crew know that we're about to start the engine in a real aircraft. Obviously there's no ground crew here. Uh, if you can't see some of the switches that I'm turning on or where they're at, there are pictures of these in the manual of these panels. They're very detailed and I'm telling you what switches to use so if you're not sure just look that up as a reference anyway I'm gonna turn on battery one and battery two forward and aft fuel pumps and the fuel quantity which you notice comes on right here COM1 and VHF2 I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the fire extinguisher system left and right fuel boost pumps and the switch for the APU. Notice that I'm going to leave the cover up right here because we're going to come back to this. I'm going to turn on the turbo gear and power on the INU. I'm going to go ahead and get the ABRIS booting up, reset the master caution, and I'm going to hit this button right here to start up the APU. While I'm here, I'm going to turn this on, power to the uh, attitude indicator and Pretty much that's a weapons guidance system actually, but it powers the HSI and everything else. So the APU is started. I'm going to go ahead and close the door. The ABRIS is booting up, going through its sequence. So I'm going to go to the left engine starter, select the left engine, disengage the rotor brake right here, 
I'm going to press this button to start and do the uh, left fuel cutoff to give us fuel. And you can see the engine RPM coming up right here, and you'll see the exhaust gas temperature start going right there, showing that we've got a good start. While I'm here, I'm going to turn on the uh, standby ADI and uncage it. I'm waiting on this engine to come up to power. Which is going to be right there. Right engine starter. I'm going to select the uh, the right engine start here. I'm going to press the igniter and the fuel cut off to the right engine and again you can see the RPMs going up. The Abris has got a whole bunch of stuff in it. A lot of uh, modes and sub modes. Right now I'm just going to go into the nav mode because it will show us uh, it's got us an HSI and will show us how to get from point A to point B. If this fails you can rely on this and if this fails you can rely on your magnetic compass up here. So I'm waiting on my RPM to come up which it did. Now we're going to kill the APU. I'm going to turn on the left and right generators right here and arm the ejection seat system and power to the weapons right there and right here the left on the left side the two little yellow handles I'm going to pull those up which uh, you can't click it so it's page up twice or page up once it's uh, page up is for one engine page up again is for the other engine and page down uh, brings it down to idle again so now we're at flight idle I'm going to turn on the countermeasure system for flares and chaff. Our weapon systems are on. I'm going to turn on the autopilot dampeners and the uh, flight director. Since it's just me, there's no need for to turn on the data link system, which is right here. I'm going to turn on the dust protection system. I'm programming my sequence there and I always put the laser to standby right there before I take off I believe that's it we should be ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and lift off a little bit of collect here so here we go hope this helps some of you out. I might have missed a couple of things or uh, your way may be better but if it's not broke don't fix it.